right, testing one, two, three. Hello, night owls, early birds, and everything in between. This is Michael Pergi, Purgatorio, come to you guys on YouTube, on recording. I know you guys can't see the recording, but it, it says REC right there, short for recording. But anyway, uh, we're training a Corin today. Uh, this is actually a request from Nightmare. He's been waiting oh so patiently for this. Maybe not as patiently as Pat's Patch was with the Peach uh, training video, which, by the way, if you guys haven't seen that one, make sure you check that one out right after this. I'll I'll probably have a little linky link to it at the end of this one. Um, in fact, this is on July 21st at 2.30 a.m., so probably not going to see this till, like, the week. So, he hello, future people. I, uh, I don't know what chaos awaits us in the future, but... Uh, Hopefully this, this video can take your mind off it a little bit. But uh, before we go ahead and get into what we're really doing with this corn amiibo, why don't we go ahead and, well, you know what? First, we'll, we'll get a gander at the nice amiibo. Check it out. Boom. Strutting his stuff. All right, all right. And I already do have a name in mind for this guy. Huh. Oh, what do you know? She she used to she used to belong to someone else here. Um, shout out to Nico Ray. Okay, okay. Uh, you know what, guys? If it's all the same to you, because I don't know what Nico. I, I see it's only level one, but I don't know really what Nico may have done. I think we're going to. Uh, I think we're gonna hit the reset button. Yep. Yep. Um, I'm sorry. Oh, and he named it Corin. Wow. Original. You know what? We gotta reset this thing. Let's go. Let's go. Our amiibo has forgotten everything. Please remove the amiibo. Okay. So, brand new amiibo here, guys. In fact, um, I'm tempted to actually just go default. I am. Uh, we are gonna keep him a boy, though. He, him pronouns, please, but I'm not gonna lie, the red looks kind of snazzy right now. Green's not bad either, but you know, I don't, I don't like that kind of green for his hair per se. Kind of, kind of feel like you're doing too much. Also, you know what? I think I'd like it more if it was just a smidge bit darker. Actually, now that, now that I'm looking at it more, but you know, I honestly could do this one. And then we can kind of do a, a Riku, like his name is Riku, because he's got the uh, darker kind of hair and the blue blue clad here, really. But nah, we're not going to do that. So I think I'm just going to stick with the red ult. Uh, no, no, those are not actually. We need to change it to me. Hi. And uh, we're going to change the nickname, too. And like I said, I already got one in mind for this guy. He will be Spike. It's a little ironic, I know, because corn can't really spike, but, you know, they got a big spike, and, you know, sometimes you spike a vein in your arm for that sweet nectary, I mean, drugs are bad. Drugs are very bad, but we're going to name him Spike. Keep up with my drug listings here. Fergie, how'd you come up with your amiibo names? I'm sorry, what? Drugs. Drugs, okay? Drugs. These things, okay? Yeah, that's looking a lot better. Also, just an FYI, guys, we are going to do Spirited. I guess you could say I'm really making this guy for the nice, uh, the nice Fire Emblem tournament we got coming up here. That'll be on, uh, actually, tomorrow. Tomorrow at 5 p.m. Central time. I'm looking forward to it. Uh... So with Spike, we will be giving him some spirits first and foremost. And, you know, guys, we're going to be using Axion Guide here again. Um, who am I giving a shout out here? Special thanks to Reparo. Wow, that's a name I haven't heard in a long time. So thank you, Reparo, for the, for the insight here. But um, before we get into the competitive training, we're going to see what the tournament legal bonuses are going to be. So... Almost every single one of Corrin's attack involves their sword, which makes weapon attack a perfect fit. You can then use another weapon attack. Oh, 
alongside move speed up to complete the setup. Oh, I, I think I like this one. I do. Does also say critical healing and metal is quite good on Corrin and leaves an empty slot to include weapon attack, but uh, we don't really do CHM here in Amiibo fight. Sorry, not sorry. Um, I also see that they put a little extra here. Transformation duration or air defense up. Trade-off ability up and critical health stats up are okay, but are a bit outclassed by the other options listed here. So I I see the uh, transformation duration up. I'm sure that's really, you know, more going back to the critical healing and metal again. But um, yeah, I... I, I know the recovery isn't terrible, but my whole thing is, you know, if he gets launched and it, the CHM pops out off stage, it, I feel like it's a greater risk for him to try and get back to stage, if that makes sense. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, that's, uh, that's something we're not going to really explore here. So, uh, I guess we're going to just do two weapon attack ups and, uh... And you know we'll give them we'll give them some move speed up because I do enjoy seeing Amiibo a little speedy, uh, a little schmovement, little term coined by the doctor, Amiibo doctor. Um, let's go ahead and see what we got in our bag of goodies here. And you know I said it on the last one, I'll say it on this one, guys. Make sure to start with the support spirits. I know it's a little misleading because primary support, you know, but. Yeah, you're going to want to start with support. It's a lot easier for you. And yeah, we're going by skill, so I should be running into weapon attack pretty soon. Here we go. Here we go. And as you guys can see, you know, different weapon attacks are going to give you different personalities because they're making the faints go every which way. Um, Hardman would actually be pretty cool. I, I think it would go hard. Yeah, now I'm going to have to edit that joke out, but <laughs> I uh, I think we can really go whatever here. But, uh, you know, there's this guy, Luigi, that I kind of main, and I, I must say he looks striking in his tennis outfit. So I think we're going to go with some weapon attack up Luigi style, and we'll inherit that. Boom. All right, so... I could double up on the Luigi, but I'm also curious. Would, um, yeah, you know, I squeeze in Hard Man. Hard Man's gonna slap on this amiibo. Wait. Yeah, that, that sounds totally appropriate. <laughs> Alright, well, there's our weapon attacks, guys. Let's go ahead and find our move speed. Um,. It's going to be a little more down there. Okay. So, speed up. I got Liquid Metal Slime. I like this guy. I, I don't really play the games he's from, but he's he's still cool. He's still cool. Ninja. Yeah, see, I always forget they got a move speed up from, from arms. That's It's weird, but it's also pretty crazy. Um, if you go Excite Bike, just for, uh, just for retro. But, you know, then again, guys, expect that personality to change. And could be from our primary spirit, could be from the training. We're going to find out here in just a moment. But I'm going to go Excite Bike. Keep it normal. Boom. And we're going to switch over to primary. So you guys probably know by now that I usually use just these two spirits and... And they're under the neutral, so... I also just want to go ahead and say, because, like, you don't need to do what I'm about to do, 2100, 2100. Um, in fact, I want to read off what they have written down here real quick, so, you know, we could go through the full thing here. But, um, yeah, Ashy does look like 2100, 2100 is the move here. At least this this is more from the photo, I see, not so much what it says in the guide, but, you know, I'm, I'm going to go off the photo here, and... Yeah, actually, there it is. Balance spread, 2100, 2100. Good, good. Now, as you guys can see, there's two options, really. Arceus or Zacian and Zamazenta. And, of course, they gave it to the Pokemon. No other spirit out there. Uh, Zacian and Zamazenta, though, do still keep me at normal. I'm going to try and keep normal as much as possible. So, uh, let's go ahead with Z and Z. Z squared. Boom. All right.
right, so, you know, we're not exactly halfway there, but uh, level 7 is not bad. Not bad at all. Um, yeah, you know what, we're going to keep the learn on, but um, I'm honestly trying to remember what the last amiibo I train because this is, this is something that I feel I do that a lot of people in the scene don't do is train their amiibo equipped with spirits. That's right, I put spirits on myself when I go in. But um, what I'm going to do real quick, just really quickly here, guys, I want to just check out my team setup because I think I got physical, not weapon attack. And I like to mirror that as much as possible. Tempting to check that, but we got bigger fish to fry. Alright, so I'm gonna switch to weapon attack up. I got the fierce deity link. He's uh he's a tough guy, that fierce deity link. He really is. So let me go ahead and back out here. And I, I, normally you could just go into Smash and just get it started, but you know, I, I do just wanna I wanna take one more gander at the amiibo here. Because again, you know, the alt I picked for him, super snazzy here. I wanna enjoy that a little bit. Boom. Alright, so let's go ahead and smash him up. But first, I gotta make sure the learn is on. This is half of being an amiibo trainer. Making sure the learn is on when it needs to be on and the learn is off when it needs to be off. And yes, I do have like OCD with that stuff, so... That's that's just mental anguish right there. Uh, so I'm just going to do five stocks, items off. I feel like it goes a little bit quicker this way than doing three stock, personally. Uh, I'm going to start with FD. It's a flat stage. This way the amiibo gets that, uh, gets that experience, really. So we'll also be hitting, like, Battlefield for stationary platforms. I'll also do Town and City for, for some moving platforms. But... Um, Right now, I am going to select Corrin. I'm going to go default. No, no. I'm going to go Riku. Riku ult. And Fierce Deity. So, let's go ahead and see what Reparo has left us as far as some training advice before we just dive on in. Dive on in. So, looks like here... We just need to stick to these rules, and you should be good to go. This is this is literally what I'm reading here. And, yeah, don't go off stage either, as Corrin's a dragon ascent move leaves them vulnerable to incoming attacks. And I, I agree with that. I agree with that. Uh, it's not that great of a recovery. Forward Smash is Corrin's main damage racker and kill move. Its range is flat out insane. There's, there's an exclamation point, so I wanted to emphasize the same part. <clears throat> anyway, when using this attack, use it at its maximum range. Try to connect the tipper hitbox. The FP shouldn't use this move up close, only from a distance. So that's something we got to keep in the back of our head here. Uh, with, as with most up smash attacks, corns should be used to attack your FP as it falls. Um, for those that don't know what FP is, figure player. Kind of kind of self, self-explanatory. Um... Anyway, as it falls from above, in fact, you should rotate both up smash and repeated up airs in this case. Uh, so this is where I think we're going to stray just a smidgen from the script here. Because we know that Nightmares Amiibo, really Ann, loves up airs and it really works for her. So I think we're going to try, and I emphasize, emphasize the word try, to match that. Um, also just want to dive into the next point here down tilt is corn's primary combo starter so after attacking the fp with a down tilt follow up with an up tilt sounds simple enough sounds simple enough uh you can then add on additional up tilts for even more damage okay and then you can finish out the combo with an up air or more really rarely a neutral air i think we're just gonna stick with the up air because again you know homage to really and really so it does also talk about the FP wanting to walk. If this is your first time seeing an amiibo train, you want to walk, don't run. But 
Uh, this one does allow you to go ahead and throw in a dash attack here and again. Uh, it does even say to use it sparringly, so I'm going to do my best to use it sparringly because sometimes I get a little I get a little a dash attack happy. For those who know me in PvP know what I'm talking about. Uh, also, only use down air if you're KO'd and are on the respawn platform. Don't use it under any other circumstance when your FP is KO'd. You can try standing under its respawn platform. That way, if the FP uses a down air, you'll get hit by it. And this will encourage the AI to use down air after respawning more often. Huh. You know, I really didn't feel like Amiibo kind of worked that way. They could just do something right off the respawn. It was just more of a... How you call it? Just really up to the faint values, really, on what you're doing on stage versus off stage. But, um... You know, I'm honestly trying to remember Corrin Down Air for the life of me, and I can't. But I, I could probably see, if it's what I'm thinking of right now, I could kind of see why. Uh, but it does also say if you're launched upwards, perhaps by your FPs up tilt or their up smash, you can occasionally use the very tip of Dragon Lunge's pin to secure a landing. You'll only want to use this move in the air, though. Don't use it while grounded. So, I don't know. I feel like that's kind of a risk. It's a risky thing to do. So, I really want to try using the side special or Dragon Lunge's pin pretty sparingly. Uh, at least for a landing option, really. Um... I mean, besides the down air, I'm not really seeing much stuff here as far as, like, maybe, uh, maybe, uh, just, yeah, any, anything else here, really, for a landing option, so that's, it's a little concerning, but, you know, I think we'll figure it out as we kind of go. Again, this is not a character I played very often. Um, when the character came out in Smash 4, I picked it up once or twice and was like, see ya! So, uh, yeah, this, this is gonna be an interesting one. Uh, maybe it'll do well, maybe it won't, but you know what, guys? We will be, uh, testing them out later here tonight on the video. Uh, hopefully we'll get some of the Amiibo fight amigos here. Three, two, one, amigos. Go! No, no. Sorry for an Amiibo. He's Amiibo. Uh, also gonna try and add some, uh, grapple in there. I, I guess I was really thinking this guy was going to be more aggressive, but, uh, you know, he is only a level 8 right now. So let's uh, wake him up a little bit here. Oh. I, I don't think the guy said anything about neutral special, so um, it's a bit concerning. But I should be throwing in a lot more F Smash, so. You're lucky you're basically a new board. Oh, you sly boots. Can shield and parry very well. That's good. Oh. And that's that's why that's a risky move, buddy. That's, uh, that's kind of why I don't think we're going to be using that move too much in here. No. No. Uh... Alright, so defensively, you know, not bad for a first game, but uh, offensively, he is pretty brain dead. Yeah. Yeah. Got him up to level 9, and we'll uh, we'll be stopping at level 43, or, you know, 44 if it carries over a little bit, obviously. Um, we're going to go to Battlefield. I think we're both going to have a little more fun on a stage like this, especially if we... If he starts to really pick up the up airs a little bit. So let's go ahead and get started. We're ready to fight. And yes, I will be going through and seeing if personality changes, you know, rapidly, vibrantly. Any of the Elys. So I really got to start throwing in more up smash. And. Oh my god, I'm not supposed to use that up close. Why did I use that up close? Damn it, Perky. Damn it, Perky! Right, there's some up smash, so we're getting some smash attacks in here. I'm happy about that. Damn, how does he do that with the forward smash? You, you shithead. Alright, alright. Bam! You ain't gonna parry in the air, bruh! No, I'm 
not hating the defensiveness right now. In fact, it did say, guys, in the Exian uh, Exian Guide Vault that uh, Exian Vault Guide. Wow, had to just stop what I was doing just to say a sentence correctly. But yeah, the guide does state, you know, make sure you get your parries in, and I, I feel like that's something we've. Oh my God. We, he started to approach me and I feared for my life. You all saw it. Okay, so um, still not seeing a whole lot of offense, but I'm not gonna fret over it because this is just our first run through here. Is that level 11? I think uh, either this level or probably around level 13, we're gonna start to see more, more movement at least so let's go to town and city this is going to be what state are i'm sorry moving platforms i i need water hydrating helps me think straight <clears throat> but we're going to keep going with the corin i highly recommend you guys always kind of mirror match your amiibo that's typically the best way to do it um <clears throat> Well, we're gonna see what Spike can do here at level 11. See, he's he's doing some more movement stuff, but it's more evasive action than anything. And part of me feels like this could have a result from the move speed up. You know, he thinks he's just speedy boy, and he can do whatever he wants. But oh, I gotta stop throwing forward air into it. I. Again, I, I still got the peach feels from uh, from our last video. As you guys can see, I'm really trying to make it a point to not uh, not hit the up smash too closely. You got to get the apex of it, the absolute, ra and that's got range. Like Jesus, I am really forgetting the range on this thing right now. That, that, was, that was too close. That was too close. Ooh. All right. Oh, my God. I like that. Oh, my God. I like that. Neutral air at the ledge for a little ledge trappy trap. Yes. I think we're going to do that. Alright, so I'm hoping we hit level 13 here. Because if we did, I think then we're going to start to see him get more aggressive. No, we did not hit 13. It's still 12. Okay. Well, regardless, I want to go ahead and check on our progress here. In fact, I, I'm predicting we got a more defensive kind of role here. see what we got no we are still on normal okay all right well i mean we've really only progressed in about five levels so i guess there's not much to really be said there um yeah, i'm gonna select horn once again Spirit set up. All right, Spike, we're going through our second run through here, bud. a little god stop trying to play possum on me though that that shit's not gonna work bro no no sir Boom. yeah right now definitely not the time for me to just start laying down and dying for him we're definitely going to want to just beat the holy hell out of him for a little bit. See, he's getting some licks in now that he's 13. Yeah, I'm not even really... He's just he's just really laying into the down tilts here. I kind of like that. All right, he 
He's dealing out damage. That's good. That's good. Ooh. He's getting fancy with it. Okay. Hey, I gave you a chance to hit that F smash, bro, but you were like, down tilt. Down tilt again. I know it's good. Damn it, down tilt one more time. All right, so level 14. As you guys can see, he was starting to get a little bit of offense in, and I like that. I like that. So it looks like we're pretty much on track to see pretty decent corn amiibo thus far. In fact, I might actually just DM Nightmare and be like, bro, I know you asleep, but the the Corrin is ready. Corrin. Can you please help me test it? Spike is going in for another run on Battlefield. Three, I'm just hoping two, he's able to do one, something up. Either up, air, up. To, okay, he just approached me and hit a grapple, which I don't think is, like, terrible, but... There's better options. I like the landing option for Nero. Oh my god, he he did the thing. I mean, he kind of didn't follow up afterward, but you know what? He still did the thing. Proud of you. So basically, I mean, I did an up tilt there, but basically we want to just focus on dash attack and forward smash for those more long distance kind of reactions or situations. Whoop. Ooh. All right. Y'all saw that. He, uh, he hit the spot dodge, but now it's 5 to Should uh, educate him a little bit on the dash attack. And... All right, well, so far he's dealt out like I think the most damage he's ever dealt out at this point, but still, still needs a little room to work here. In fact, he's yeah, you know what, he's getting better. As, as I'm talking, he's getting better. There you go. Right, we're still going to kick the shit out of you, buddy. And right, let's see if we got 16. If we got 16, then we got like nine more levels till I really want to see what this guy can do on his own. Yep. Nine more levels, so after that, just kind of... Not exactly put the controller down, but I want to just see what he can do on the offensive, but uh, we're gonna go to TNC. I'm sorry, I lost corn there for a moment. <laughs> I, I lost corn amongst the other hundreds of Fire Emblem characters. <laughs> I'm sorry, Fire Emblem fanboys. I did not mean to trigger you. And it's funny, so many people were probably not even into Fire Emblem before the Smash Brothers series. Let's let's think about this. too much dash. Let me fix that with some forward smash. There we go. In fact, I want to try and get a lot more forward smash in on this one. You want the ledge. Get it. I'm 
basically keeping you alive so I could do this. Next plan. Ow. Got a little back and forth going at least. But in the end, he will not succeed in taking one of my stocks. Alright, well, that is going to be level 18 right there. Um. Before we move on, guys, let's go ahead and check out the personality type. I'm curious to see what we got so far. All right, so we got enthusiastic here, and it's to my understanding, guys, that this is a pretty defensive kind of personality, which... You know, I am actually glad because it does say in the guide we want plenty of parries. We want a more, somewhat more defensive kind of attitude. And I, I like that. I do like that. Sorry, I keep looking at customized stuff. The learn is on, right? Yes, Pergy, the learn is on. Please stop asking. All right, we're going to go through another run through. Yeah, I'm hoping we can find someone for some matchmaking here. If it's Hasidary or anybody. Um... You know, that'd be nice. If not, you know, I got I got some some starters here, some D1 players that we could go ahead and test out. But, um, you know, it's always more fun. And let's face it, more of a... More of a decisive sort of test against other people's amiibo. After all, you're not putting them in a tournament against your own amiibo. smash I have that chef's kiss right there yeah these F smashes are super close and it is five to two I almost messed up right there. Again, Pergy, you are not trading a peach anymore. It is a corn. See, buddy, you gotta stop doing that. Like, get mad. You're, you're almost level 25. Get mad. See, I like that down tilt to forward tilt. It actually just feels right, but... You know, doubtful the amiibo is really going to do that. Alright, level 20, level 20. And we're going to go to BF, Battlefield. Alright, um... Level 20 spike. I'm reluctant to really just kind of let him roam free here because I feel like if, if, if he does, it's just going to be a whole lot of nonsense. Yeah, I kind of like that. So we're going to keep beating him up a little bit more. In fact, like I had said before. Oh! Kind of want to try that neutral air at the ledge just a little bit. Let's see what happens, but... I have 
also been one to maybe try just like a little bit of neutral attack on him. Just that one, that first second. I don't think he's got a gentleman's jab, does he? Yeah, he does. Oh my god. We don't want to try that more now. Holy cow, that's so cute. that chat. Oh yeah, there is no chat. I miss chat. That's gonna be five to one. Smash, you say? You know, I think it did talk a little bit about Down Smash, so... Yeah, maybe a good idea at this point to review the guide. But we are only at level 22. Yeah, actually, it really does not talk about Down Smash that much. Huh. That's interesting. It doesn't seem like a bad move, per se, but at the same time, you know, it's it's definitely not his best move. We can see that. Town and city. And honestly, I'm predicting after this one, when we check up on the personality, it'll probably still be enthusiastic or maybe just one of the more defensive Defensive personality types. Three, two, one, go! Eat Spike. I thought my name was Spike. It, it is, but you know, this is an actual Spike. Looks like that should hit, but it doesn't. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Try and do that off the respawn. <sighs> Come on now, Spike. Uh, again, you are almost level 25. Uh, enough of these shenanigans. a break and that's an F smash That's the case. I may have to stop doing that. Kind of makes sense why he'd use it then, just as like a way to escape danger, more or less. Oh, I just missed. I think maybe down smash could be a great way to just 
use it as more of a neutral attack. I mean, don't get me wrong, down tilt's still pretty much goaded, but you know, just a little bit of that, and none of that from you, mister. New, 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 new. I agree. All right, so now he is level 25, and uh, I'll check the personality one more time before we can continue again we're going to be stopping at level 43 so it's it's like right around the corner when you think about it it's coming it's coming uh still got enthusiastic all right cool cool yeah i kind of doubt at this point we can get him back to the normal personality but uh that's okay uh, I, I really don't mind a defensive kind of amiibo here, especially when it's corn. So, uh, I think we're good on that. <clears throat> you also want them to get a little shielding in, though. That That is always a good thing to throw into your amiibo as well. Five to four. Oh. Okay. Yeah, this is what I was expecting more or less. He's really starting to throw out more offense, and it's for the most part pretty right. I feel like I should let him kind of get his licks in right now. Just a little bit. Just, just a little bit. He's doing it. first stock. Well, he got his first stock, I should say, off of me. Good shit, good shit. on that up here off a of down tilt. That's how it really yeah, typically does it. Get me, you son bitch. There you go. There you go. He's getting it, chat. I'm the only guy that GG's an amiibo. <laughs> yeah, sorry guys. I just want to go ahead and see something else here because with the... I know we want to balance up smash and up airs, but um, I also want to just see what else we can really do as far as a landing option. But it, it really just feels like to me the neutral air is the right option, but... Uh, I know it does also say you could use the side special to kind of procure a landing here, but as you guys can see, I really just don't want to, I, I don't want to really 
throw too much in there of that. Not only because I'm not confident in it, but also I just don't know how my amiibo is really going to use that. Uh, but let's go ahead and do another one. This is on Battlefield, so we're going to really try and work the up tilts and the up airs. Maybe a little bit of more up smash. I think I figured it out. Down smash. I want to more use that to catch rolls. Like you, like I typically do with my knee, though, really. Get smart by the amiibo. He just runs away from me in the air, which, good strategy. Good strategy. smash which is really what we want he is a good damage tracker and has the potential to be KO yeah, I was kind of hoping he would have killed me off that but he did not okay okay what are you gonna do now okay he did nothing he did absolutely nothing I feel like he could be doing more dash attack actually at the moment at right, level 30. I'm gonna take this amiibo for a joyride here pretty soon. Super excited. It's it's not looking too shabby. Okay, there you go. I was about to say it's still gotta still gotta get its first stock in this match, but uh, yeah, I just keep forgetting about those down airs from from the respawn platform, which is something I don't read a lot about in amiibo guides. Hey, do this off the respawn platform. You're the, you're the expert here. I'm going to believe you. I'm just the guy wandering the aisles of Home Depot wondering what the fuck I'm on, what monstrosity I'm going to build next. He followed up, but that's not the right answer. Grapple's not wrong. Okay, forward smash. You got it. You got it. What else you got for me? Come on, make make me pay. supposed to go off stage and here I am going off stage. Whoopee. Just hate 
hate that he is not following up right now. So, I think I know how we're gonna fix that problem. Probably not gonna be this round, obviously. Just want to start a new one after that, honestly. Alright, level 34, nine more to go, single digits, but now we're gonna go to town and city. And like I said, I think I know how we're gonna go ahead and resolve that issue here. into the up tilt. Again, I kind of like the forward tilt right now. I know it really didn't talk much about it, but it's not bad. Come after me. See what they mean about that up special, it does have some power to it. He's at least doing down tilt, that's, that's good, but uh, he should be doing some other stuff here to cheat. Okay, kind of file followed up there. That's good. We're getting it. We're getting it. He getting hit. He getting hit. pretty clean. He's getting smarter. Definitely getting smarter. Yeah, we need to keep up with these down tilts and up tilts. In the back. Let me see if we can throw in a little up smash as well.
considered something. Okay, Spike, what did we learn today? I win. We learned that you gotta be a little aggressive to get the job done. Okay, bud? So, let's see where his personality is at. We got like five levels le uh, left until we uh, throw him into an arena. Hopefully, if we got some people awake. Okay, so we got Realistic. I honestly always get confused if Realistic is the more defensive one from Enthusiastic or the less defensive one. I want to say less. All I know is Unflappable is the king of defensiveness, and that's... Honestly, that's just too defensive. It's way too defensive, and I... I, yeah, I, I really don't feel like it works with a lot of Amiibo. It, I, I guess it kind of worked this one time with Dr. Mario, but it's not something you want to shoot for, in my opinion. Yeah, not the funnest personality type. For for those that don't really know what Unflappable is, your amiibo kind of thinks it's a, it's a brick wall with its shield, and it's not going to do anything unless you hit the shield or parry, uh, unless, you know, you hit the shield or you see the amiibo parry your hit, uh, then you'll start to see it start doing, um, more offensive things but you know again we kind of want a defensive core in here i just still don't believe that unflappable would be the moves here so realistic enthusiastic these are the things that we're gonna we're gonna kind of shoot for here come on no i'm over here Look. Oh, you're going up, Bears. That's that's a good thing. Oh boy. Am I dead? No, I'm not. We live. Remember to do the thing. I did that thing. Probably not gonna remember it off that one time, but still. I guess you could say it is the thought that counts.
feel like I should be quick around that, like with the down tilt into the up air thing. And that was supposed to be a down air. Damn it. Yeah, a little, a little bit more like that. Tilt me and nothing else. Yeah, that's that's kind of been your move the whole match up here. Come on, come on, do something to me while I'm in the bomb. They at least attempted it up here in there, so... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm still here, so... I guess I could kind of commit that. Oh! I forgot all about that. Alright, so... He's still a little rough around the edges, but I'm hoping by 43 we can get that all out of the system. In fact, I am making the executive decision to add some down smash here because I feel like that's not only a good move for like when you're right next to the FP, but also it's it's something different than just down tilt the whole time. closer to level 43. How many more we got? Man, three more levels. Shit. This one I feel like kind of quick. Gotta be on top of that here, buddy. He's starting to like the up air here. I can see it. to hit the opponent as they're running. That's, that's a big concern. I think like he's gonna do something, but then he just goes, nope. with a grapple.
wasn't exactly what I expected, but it's still a knockout. is a bad move. Like we could say this in okay so it's not up here but it is at least a aerial attack Okay, I want to go to town and city. See if maybe things are a little easier for him there to follow up from down tilt into an up here, up tilt, something. We are at level 42, so I feel like this next one's going to be pretty much do or die for him. And he's, yeah, he's going to have to get this one. This is it. So I'm going to do my best to not go too crazy here and see what he can do just beating the shit out of me. I feel like he's just doing everything so wrong right now, but... My grandpa used to say, do something, even if it's wrong. Smash got me, and he is at 43 now. I want you to not only take that as a lesson, but now you know that uh, that's really just a strong move here for you. Place it with a neutral air. Should also try a little more side special, I think, with that land. There we go. I don't know if I'm really supposed to follow up from that or not, but I am. Wrong, it's wrong. Yeah, I think he could use a little more up smash accuracy.
was a little close at the end, but it was still a forward smash. In fact, I really want to nail this into his head, because this is going to be our last one before we do some testing. see in the arena if they do actually follow up with the down tilt to up air or down tilt to up tilt even down tilt to up smash that's that's at least something but um yeah that is that is where we're, we're gonna call it for right now at least I just want to see what we got for personality Oh my god, we got unflappable? I am in shock and awe. Wow. I didn't even, because I know grappling is really one of the things you need to do a lot of to get that. But, yeah, really. I am shocked we got that. But you know what? We ball. We ball. Let's see what an unflappable Corin can do in the arena. Pray for us, Lord Jesus. I was about to say the head feels a little loose here. Is that okay? Alright, I think we're good. I think we're good. Alright, um, I'm gonna get the word out. I think I fucked up this corn. Can someone help test it? Well, we'll see if anybody responds here in the next few minutes or so. If not, I could just go ahead and put him, put him against some of my A team players here. As we wait, guys, I just want to go ahead and take this time to uh, do a little promoting here for Dubby. That's right, we are sponsored by Dubby. Make sure to go ahead and check out Dubby.gg when you get a shot. Cool energy drink people. They now come in cans. And um, yeah, make sure to pick up your stuff today with code Amiibo Fight, all capital letters. And this way you get 10% off your order, which is which is always good. So, you know, they they say stuff was supposed to drop here, but uh, yeah, I I still feel like uh, still feel like we are feeling the effects right now. All right, looks like Hasideri is going to help out. Thank you, thank you. And what tier are we looking at here? So we got a Corin that's spirited. We got a Corin for B tier in spirits, huh? Okay. So, yeah, a little now. Anything, anything A tier and lower should be. So we're going to wait for Hasideri. I think uh, I think he's going to set up the arena here. So let me make my way over to online. Yeah, I, you know, sometimes I, I usually like to be very optimistic about what I create, but I don't know, guys. In this case, I, uh, 
I think I may have done something wrong here. In fact, I'm, I'm going to go to the guide here. See if maybe I did do something that I wasn't supposed to do. Um, yeah, avoid using or getting hit by Dragon Fang Shot, Counter Surge, Forward Air, or Back Air in the case of the latter two. Um, yeah, again, it really does not mention Neutral Air, so I think the Neutral Air was probably not the best option here. I just wanted to try to use it a little bit as a ledge trap, but I think now they're thinking, oh, I can kill with this bitch. It's like, well, I mean, you're not exactly wrong, but not like you can with um, with up air. Up air just goaded like that. Oh, a new boy might join in. Sweet. All right, so getting word from Hasidari, he's got to save an amiibo real quick. Um, also, guys, if uh, you're a fan of amiibo arenas, make sure to check us out Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday on Twitch. That is when we open up all of our arenas so tuesday is 2v tuesday thursday we got the free-for-all and sunday we have 1v1s and again i got uh i am streaming uh recording this right now at july 21st at about four o'clock in the morning holy shit uh so yeah on that note it's uh gonna be sunday here pretty soon and we're gonna get the arena open super excited about that By the way, Thursday and Sunday, 7.30 Central Time. Tuesday is 8 p.m. Central Time. I've uh, kind of been thinking about maybe moving that to 7.30 Central Time just to keep everything kind of consistent. But uh, right now, let's, let's keep it for 8 p.m. Central Time. What this freaking amiibo can do. Step into the ring. Tempted to keep FD uh, selected, but you know what? I'm gonna go with Hollow Bastion because that's normally what I pick in in our arenas. I got a feeling when we start voting on that more, uh, he's going to go to A+. Plus. But let's see how the Corrin handles the Pikachu. Alright, well he's getting his licks in. There's a lot of aerial attacks and that's a little concerning. My whole thing is it's gonna take him forever to cave. Well, okay. That was like 25 seconds, not even. So we got some, we got some leverage here. Oh boy. Now that that is a dead coin. That is definitely a dead coin. So two. -two. I guess that neutral special just gets hard coded. Because you guys saw me not do a single neutral special. No, 
and he's still doing that. Did a little neutral attack, though. In fact, I'm curious if he's going to throw that out or not. We went with down smash right there, but you know what? Up smash still kind of worked for him. There's that base of this right now. Holy cow. Oh my god! Two to one. that range on the F smash. Come on now. Okay, down smash, 1-1. One, one. There you go, down tilt to up tilt. You got it, you got it. This, what seems like a lot of corn amiibo, he's just most vulnerable off stage. special from Corrin is kind of a winner, so Pikachu also needs to be careful when he's going off stage. So, definitely not looking like a failure thus far, but there are some things we could definitely work on. New boy, what are you forgetting? This is not Raid Boss. Doveman hopping into the ring with a Kirby. Yeah, this this could be bad. Especially because it's your bad, LOL. So your bad, LOL versus Spike. As long as the corn can stay on stage, I think we got something here. Hit the F smash, buddy. Not from when he's right in front of you, though. Close. Yeah, I'm 
starting to look at this more and more. I don't feel like the Corrin is favored in this matchup against the uh, Kirby right now. Could be wrong, though. GG. <laughs> well, yeah, Dub saying that it's got good parrying, that's true, but it needs to use the F smash way more efficiently. All right, well, Hasidari is back in the ring, and this time he's going to bring in a Sephiroth named Chaos. Yeah, this could be a little bit troublesome. Because, again, Sephiroth does have that range. But if Spike can just lay in some F-Smash, some dash attack, I think we'll be okay. And, yeah, key parrying. Key, key parrying. That is quite important. Three, two, one, go! Way. We're at two right now. Great parry there by my guy. Great parry. Yeah, grapple. Grapple always beats any kind of parry or shield. Uh, I kind of prefer we can't do that, but I'll let everyone know next round here, I guess. shielding right there. He shielded every one of those. Very into the forward smash. See, the corn is starting to get it. It's just super defensive about it, so it just might take him a little longer than normal. Also, not seeing enough up here. If, if Nightmare were here, he would definitely let me know about that right now.
I'm going to give Hasidiri a little time to switch out here. So, right now, my guy is 2 and 1. Uh, yeah, Doveman is just really good, so if he's bringing the Kirby back in, I can't... You know, I, again, I don't know the matchup offhand, but I'm sure it's probably going to favor the Kirby or at least go even. And it's like a two-tier placement difference, so... Should be two. Okay. All right, well, Profile versus Spike. I don't think I've seen this villager before. Huh. All right. Let's see what you got then, Profile. Is it like a Facebook profile, Tinder profile, MySpace profile, social profile? That was very evasive. I was about to say, no fucking way that killed. <laughs> Man, see, now that those critical health stats are out, Spike's gotta be careful. to run that a little bit. Again, that evasiveness of his once in a while just getting him into trouble, it seems. See, again, when it comes to Doveman's Amiibo, because I know they're going to be a little more aggressive, this is where I feel like he's just too defensive. I feel like there are a lot of opportunities to see him just... Yeah, see him just take more KOs there. Duffman going to make adjustments, so me and Hasidari. And I think this is going to be my last one, so if he wins here, I think I'm going to call it. I think we're good. Ready? If he loses it, back to the lab again. Gonna do some 44 and up training here. <laughs> Did homeboy try to draw a dick? <laughs> I know it's hard to see because of my chat here, but I, I think homie tried to draw a pee pee. <laughs> hey, that, that can't be displayed on YouTube, sir. 
That's gonna mess with my my advertising revenue. Oh wait, I'm not even close to that. You know, I don't give a fuck about it. <laughs> this is a good Christian Minecraft stream after all. clip when recording but yeah I think that would have been a clippable moment that's two two different than a lot of other Soras I typically see. Yeah, he should have really just hit a down smash out of that one. He's still just beating. And I feel like this move speed is also helping him out. Just to be honest. <clears throat> he really went for that down air, but did not go anywhere. time the Sora's got the lead oh a little bit of sharpshooting right there for spike and yeah, we're tied at uno Spike, it's over. Yeah, so that kind of told me all I needed to know, and what I need to do here is make sure. Yeah, there it is. Make sure that he is just not, not as defensive here. Um, I know he wanted defensive. I think I just turned the dial a little bit too much. But yeah, no, I mean this was good data. I don't think it was terrible, but it could be better. Could be better. So in my professional opinion, it needs more work. So let's go ahead and just go right back to it here, guys. In fact, we're going to get a refresher on the guide. Uh, so I think we just need to go ahead and implement more down smash in the neutral kind of thing here. But uh, I'll try. But, uh, yeah, just try and work out this unflappable personality. I hate it. It never works on, like, any amiibo. And, yeah, I'm just shocked I actually got it with this guy. 
really didn't feel like we threw or grappled too much. And that's why these rounds, I am not grappling at all. At all. And we're just going to take it from FD. So, here's what I'm thinking. No down tilt. And... Only up smash, because I really feel like you need some up smash. And... Yeah, it's, it's tough, again, to really just work out this... This personality, but we're going to try. Back on it, I don't think he did like one dash attack. Oh, At least killed him with an up air. smash and then quickly hit that forward smash. Try using that forward smash actually a little off ledge too. Why not? and land more with that side special. But again, I want to do that pretty smartly. to keep the parry alive as you guys can see. No, that's not the right move. That is also not the right move. That is what you should be using more of. Alright, so I'm liking more what I'm seeing. It's a lot more F Smash. And... 
of evasiveness, actually. Alright, so I really didn't feel like we did that much grabbing, which is good. Gonna try and at least let him hit me a little bit more in these last few levels, and then we're just gonna pit him against some of my amiibo on a local point. Uh, we're gonna go to Battlefield. See what we got in the fields of battle. else we could do here for Spike, the Corrin Amiibo. So I think from now on, I'm going to try not to uh, use a landing option. I'm just going to let him hit me. It seems to be working a lot. If I could get that neutral air out of their vocab, I think that might be more beneficial. Now let's replace that nair with up air. There you go. He's getting it. And just keep adding some that would range, but I just gotta get that timing down. There's that neutral attack I was talking about earlier.
I kind of fucked up that recovery, but we did. We, did. we ball. We ball. One thing I didn't notice, though, uh, besides the pairing, um, we, are still, we are still seeing a lot of evasiveness, which I'm not exactly complaining about. I'm just concerned he might get himself into a situation that might make or break him, to basically describe that as best I can here at 4.30 in the morning. But uh, getting closer to 50, and once we hit him to 50, then we'll uh, turn the learn off again, and this time we're going to do some local fights with him. Uh, see what he can do. are going to have down smash in his head after this one. 
Just a nice simple up tilt. Keeps it keeps things interesting. <laughs> oh, he's gonna be a jokester, I can tell. Tilt to catch holes. I could, uh, I could see it. Trying to stray away from that, so this way we can try and get this off the of Personality gone. I want to say it's bad exactly, but it's. I feel like we got that. Like up here. Alright, um. I doubt we got 50. I, I really do. Uh, we're gonna see. Yeah, we didn't even get 49. Wow. Um, let's go ahead and see what the personality is real quick. I got a feeling we still got unflappable. If not unflappable, then enthusiastic or realistic. Okay, so we got realistic. Um, I can work with that. I can. Now, we're still going to go ahead and keep the learn on and just finish this out to level 50. I just feel like that's the right thing to do right now. Uh, so I'm going to take him back through FD. I want to say this will be the last one but I could be wrong so it's either going to be this one or the next one all right well I'm glad he's no longer unflappable that's that is good I feel like now I can try maybe a little more grappling during this but maybe not too much Way to get more up airs into this guy. Oh, yeah, she did the down air thing. Nice, nice.
kind of wish it wasn't that, though. Not gonna lie. I hope we got a little bit. Alright, we got 50. So we're going to cut the training there. And uh, <clears throat> I'm going to line up some amiibo here for this guy to face off against. In fact, I know the first one that we're going to put him up against. Still got realistic, so I'm very happy about that. Very happy where we were able to get the unflappable gone. I don't like it. I don't like it. Wasn't exactly bad for him during the arena, but uh, all in all, you know, definitely, definitely the thing here. In fact, again, my anxiety. Did, did I turn learn off or did I think I just did? Because again, boys and girls, half of Amiibo training is making sure the learn is on when it needs to be, and the learn is off when it needs to be. Uh, let's go ahead in, and we're going to go ahead and actually throw him onto the final destination stage against... Stop the battle. Mm, PJ to plant. Yeah. It's going to be a five stock matchup here, and for the most part, I'm asking Spike to win, but I don't know how this matchup goes, so if it's like more in the favor of PJ, I'll be like, you know what, man, if you lose by one, it's good enough for me. And, you know, I want him to, I do want him to have at least uh, one victory from the uh, amiibo I'm going to put him up against. Five four, so I know we dropped the defensiveness a little bit. In fact, we kind of see it right now as he's trying to nail some forward smash, but still, it's still kind of there. Great parry. Another great parry. And there's a forward smash. Five to three already. This is really he's got to get the kill here. I think he will get it a little faster if he implemented a little up smash. Dash attack. getting a KO here. Now I feel like I want him to be more defensive here because I feel like that's now the only option he's got to bring this matchup back against PJ DePlant. That will 
Okay, yo. Okay, we got some hope. We got some hope. Two and a half minutes into the matchup, and PJ to plant. Looking pretty dominant. In fact, yeah, just how many parries and stuff he's got. Just wow. Pretty sure he is also uh, enthusiastic, realistic type, actually. for a landing, that was, that was something we've never really seen them do against an Amiibo, at least. I'm well, not seeing really much down smash in the vocabulary, which should be. We did quite a bit of that. That'll be three to one. Take another stock. That's what I want to know. There's the down smash we've been looking for. A minute in, nice up smash. They gotta make a move now. They hope to get this victory. Back throw. Not one to one. Don't get hit. That is the name. Okay, you got hit, and that will be a victory to PJ. Well, again, just looking at the tier list here, guys. So we got the plant in A. We got corn in B. So it's a difference, but I also want to take a look at the matchup here just to see just to see what it's like. And I'll be utilizing a Mebot statistics tool on this one. Sometimes it takes a little bit to really load up here, but while we wait, I do want to see some of the damage. So four minutes and 36 seconds, it was a longer matchup, and I feel like that's kind of the thing with this corn. It's going to be longer matchups, nothing too too quick. Oh, oh hold on. No, no, that's not who I wanted. There we go. All right, so Piranha Plant. Oh. Yeah, no, it is it is actually quite a bit in the favor of the plant. So, uh, you know, what? I am going to count that as a win here, and uh, we're going to call it. We are going to call it from there, really. So I think they have done satisfactory work here, and uh, we're going to see how they really fare tomorrow in our arena. Again, we're, or not tomorrow, actually, later today. Later today we are doing this. But just want to go ahead and say thank you to everybody who watched here. I know it was a longer video, but uh, definitely informational. Definitely, definitely a little surprising at parts here. But you know what? Spike is looking ultra defensive. Uh, looking pretty defensive like a Corrin should be, I guess. And uh, we're going to see how this plays out tomorrow and for Monday for the Fire Emblem Tournament. So, guys, thank you so much for joining us here. And it's it's going to pop up in a second. Just, just give it a little bit. But there is a link to our Peach Training Guide. In fact, here is the custom Peach here. 
that is Bliss, new member of the team. So uh, make sure to go ahead and watch that as well. But for right now on this video, deuces.